Here today with Point Loma senior guard, Josh Rodriguez, head coach Ryan Looney, and senior forward Preston <coughs> Coming off a 93-83 win over Concordia to capture the Pac West title outright for this year. Preston, you transferred into the school. I know that this was part of your goals was to help lead Point Loma to a title. Just tell me about the realization of this goal and now that's kind of here. Yeah, it's, uh, it's been a long time coming and uh, I came to Point Loma for this exact reason right here. And um, we've been working really hard this past, my past two years here and it's just exciting to, for this to be the end goal. Josh, gotta talk to you, man. Four years here running that point guard, starting basically every single game since you've been here. Your first year, you ended the season with like six players. And you guys did not have very many wins. Just tell me about kind of the journey throughout your four years and how you've seen the program turn, not just this season. I mean, obviously being in the, in the conference for four years in any basketball team is, is a huge just uh, learning experience every year. You know what I mean? Every year you, you put, you get, you're supposed to, your goal is to get better and better. And I mean, just the experience you gain over these, or that, I get, that I've gained over these four years, just with, especially with the pressure and stuff like that. Um, it's just, it's just a, a big journey and a great one to be a part of. Preston, what did you guys learn? You guys did lose in overtime up there the first time you played them. What did you guys learn and what did you apply to the second game to be able to come out with a win? Uh, we just learned we got to be able to handle their pressure. Um, they like to go out and deny. We just got to be a little bit stronger with the ball. And we just retooled our game plan for this game and just went out and executed it. And um, that's, a, that's the end result that we wanted. One of the better players in the league, we got to admit, is Brian Chambers. You guys passed Tanner Nelson with guarding him, and I thought Tanner actually did a pretty good job out there tonight, Josh. Could you just talk to me a little about that one? I see Chambers goes two of eight from three, and just talk about the, te the job the whole team did, but especially Tanner harassing him all night. Yeah, I mean, our, our main goal was to take him out of the game because he killed us the first game, so, so Tanner did a great job um, denying and trying to stay in front. I mean, we got a little fatigued at the end, so he got some easy buckets, but in the first half, I think we did great on him with the help side, with everybody packing the paint and just Tanner just making it super difficult for him. Ryan, let me talk to you about this game a little bit. I'd like to talk this one and then talk to you about the upcoming postseason tournament. But you guys, once again, shoot over 60%. This is the team that does put a lot of pressure on you, but you guys were able to get good shots. Talk to me about the execution you guys had on offense when this team can make it really tough to execute offensively. Yeah, we know um, it's gonna be a grind when we play them. Uh, they're essentially trying to create possessions with their pressure. Uh, they're trying to get you to turn it over. Um, as much as possible. Uh, we wanted to do a better job and stay poised uh, during those moments, uh, but we also wanted to do a really good job creating possessions uh, on our end as well with our rebounding. <laughs> I thought we did a much better job in that area tonight than we did uh, at their place um, the first time we played. You came in here three years ago, you tried to change the culture, you tried to get these guys to work hard. Talk about the hard work your team has put in, maybe not just this year, but over the course of three years, to allow you guys to achieve this goal of winning the Pac West title. Yeah, um, I think number one, uh, a lot of credit goes to our athletic director, Ethan Hamilton. Um, he's one of the big reasons that my family and I decided to, to come to Point Loma. Um, when moving here, uh, obviously we know that this is a beautiful place, uh, an unbelievable campus. Thought that uh, it would have so much potential. Um, for men's basketball, um, and I'm just really proud of our guys. We cast a vision um, three years ago when we started. Uh, we don't talk about it all that much, but obviously this is what we were trying to build uh, ourselves uh, for. Um, we don't necessarily just want to be satisfied with competing for conference titles. We want to win them. Um, we want to get ourselves to the point where we're a top 25 Division II team in the country, and we definitely are that. Um, right now. Uh, I think the greatest satisfaction for me is just watching the guys buy into what we're trying to say every day, uh, going out there fighting for each other uh, on game day and putting us in a position uh, where we're at right now. I think this is an unbelievable place for potential student athletes, uh, men's basketball players to think about coming to school at now. Well, thank you very much. We got to make a quick comment here. This um, might be the rat last regular season game, home game of the season, but you guys will be up on the road next week at the Pac West tournament up in San Rafael. And you guys are also looking pretty good to be playing in the NCAA West Regional. We'll find out where that one's at in about a week. So thank you very much, guys. Thank Thanks, you. Danny.